Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will code Spring Boot Hello World example. And if you are an absolute beginner in Spring Boot, then watch this quick video to kickstart your coding with Hello World. So let's begin. Here I have created a Spring Boot project using a Spring Initializer and imported to Eclipse. You can use Eclipse or any other open source tool that you have for Java programming. Now the first thing that we will do is we will create a new class. So I'll go to this src main java folder under the hood of your project and right click and go to new and click on class. Provide a class name like uh, hello world controller and package as I'm going to take as controller. So then I'll click on finish. So on the left hand side under a new package com example spring boot app controller hello world controller class will be created now inside this the first thing that we will do is we will assign a rust controller annotation to this class which indicate that this is going to be rust controller and the entry point for this project now the next thing that we'll do is we'll create a simple method like public string and a method called say hello and we will return a simple string from this like hello spring boot next thing that we are going to do is we will assign a request mapping annotation to this particular method and for this i will give a url pattern as hello now once it is done then we'll go to this spring boot application dot java where you have this annotation spring boot application and i have talked about the importance of this class and how you can basically start your spring boot application in my earlier video so if you have not watched my earlier video yet and if you're not sure how to start your spring boot project then you can watch out my quick videos on these topics i will also provide the link in this description as well so now in order to start this project i will come to this class right click and run as java application once i do that then in the console it will start this application and post a successful start you will get this message app started which is coming from this and tomcat started on port number 8080 so now if i go to the browser and type localhost 8080 slash hello and hit this then it will print hello spring boot so what is happening here is when we are typing localhost 8080 slash hello then this hello world controller class is basically registered with a spring saying that this is going to be my rest controller and if any url pattern after the port number matches to slash hello then it will execute this method now one more thing which i would like to show you that you can also put request mapping at the class level suppose you have multiple class which you want to indicate as a rest controller then you can put request mapping at the class level as well and like for this i'm giving as rest okay and let me quickly stop this and then i will restart this so so what is what will happen now is when we'll hit localhost 8080 slash rest slash hello then this method will be called so if i go to the browser and type 8080 slash hello nothing will be printed because there is no direct url mapping with this so we will modify this with rest and there you go so you are getting this message so similarly if you have n number of method you can create those in this controller and you can provide a particular request mapping url pattern accordingly your method will be executed so we have seen an example of hello world spring boot controller in this class now in the next video i'm going to talk about get mapping in details and will show you how you can fetch the data from a db from a data list from a java pojo in a spring boot application so thank you for watching please like and subscribe for upcoming java boost